Many farm workers in Yuma, Arizona, cross the border daily to come to work to harvest much of the nation's leafy greens, and those workers are now questioning their job security as President-elect Donald Trump touts stricter immigration measures. Alexandria Rangel reports. Farm workers like Rosa Acosta are waiting to see how things will change under the Trump administration. She says the majority of her field co-workers aren't U.S. citizens, but they do have work visas like the H-2A and the TN visa, allowing them to legally work in the U.S. Availability of labor, legal labor, has been through the H-2A program. And, you know, it always takes political wrangling to decide on the limits and, and the quotas. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says more than 200,000 H-2A visas are issued every year to foreign seasonal labor workers, helping fill essential jobs in agriculture. As President-elect Trump begins to implement his border policy, Arizona Department of Agriculture Director Paul Brierley says it could impact the ag industry. The biggest challenges ag faces always have been water and labor. Brierley recalls a labor shortage during the COVID-19 pandemic impacting food production. Especially during the pandemic, it was a real challenge for, for people to get across. He says Yuma Farms rely on employees coming from Mexico on work visas to help feed America. For now, it's a waiting game until Trump takes office and puts his plan in place. So the question is, you know, will there be the framework for uh, flow of legal uh, labor? I guess my hope is that, yeah, as we presumably clamp down on illegal immigration, um, that those legal pathways are opened up. Rosa's work visa expires in January, which means she'll have to reapply. She's hopeful the visa program won't be impacted by the incoming administration. She says they should give workers like her a chance to continue working.